In 2021, Fauquier Reaches for Excellence in School Health, also known as FRESH, received an active learning grant from the Virginia Department of Education. Using grant funds, FRESH partnered with Virginia's chief movement officers to bring calming and refocusing strategies to Fauquier County Public Schools. Teachers often want to incorporate more movement activities in the classroom, but find it challenging for students to regain focus afterwards. Calming and refocusing strategies allow students to return to a state of calm and prepare themselves for the next moment in their day. In this video, we present you with 14 different calming and refocusing strategies to try in the classroom. First, we begin with a discussion of the science behind these strategies. When we talk about movement and the brain, we are talking about the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. The sympathetic nervous system regulates our reaction to stress. When you are engaged in vigorous movement, your body interprets it as a stressor and activates the sympathetic nervous system. As a result, your heart and breathing rates increase. When you stop the exercise, the stress is removed and your parasympathetic nervous system is activated. Your heart and breathing rates decrease and it brings a state of calm to the body. Brain scans have shown that when students are seated for lengthy periods of time, brain activity quiets. Engaging in bursts of movement reactivates neural activity and re-energizes thinking and processing. Teachers often ask how to bring students back after a quick burst of movement. Calming and refocusing strategies can accomplish this goal. The brain exercises have the ability to quiet, distracting, or frustrating thoughts. In a classroom setting, they are especially useful for moments of transition, such as following lunch, recess, specials, assemblies, or any time students become overstimulated. Calming and refocusing techniques enable classroom teachers to help students return to a state of calm and quiet. We mentioned previously that quieting the mind ignites our parasympathetic nervous system, which in turn settles down the body by decreasing our heart rate and breathing rate. Calming and refocusing techniques are also useful for improving our coping strategies for handling day-to-day -day stress. Incorporating these strategies in a classroom setting can help children learn important coping mechanisms that can serve them in a variety of situations. Finally, once our bodies have returned to a state of calm, our thinking is improved, our emotions become regulated, and we are able to approach challenges with more variable options. For all of these reasons, the calming and refocusing strategies developed by the CMO and FRESH can be an important tool for teachers hoping to improve classroom management while teaching children important life skills. The following videos will highlight 14 different calming and refocusing strategies that can be implemented within a classroom setting. These strategies were piloted by Fauquier County Public School teachers during the 2021-22 school year, and their feedback has strengthened the content of each exercise. To access individual strategy videos, curriculum materials, and classroom posters, visit fauquierfresh.org backslash calming and refocusing. This strategy is called square breathing. Before starting, sit with your back supported in a comfortable chair and your feet flat on the floor. Close your eyes. Breathe in through your nose while counting to four slowly. Feel the air into your lungs. Hold your breath inside while counting slowly to four. And try not to clamp your mouth or nose shut. Simply avoid inhaling or exhaling for four seconds. Now begin to slowly exhale for four seconds. Repeat steps one to three at least three times. Ideally, repeat the three steps for four minutes or until calm returns. This strategy is called calf raises. 
This strategy can be done in a seated position or while standing. Feel free to use your chair or desk for balance support. The goal of this activity is to focus on positive thoughts as we use our muscles. Stand solidly on both feet and place your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Slowly lift up onto your toes. As you lift up, focus on the lower leg muscles working to support you in this position and say to yourself, I am. As you slowly lower back down to your flat feet, finish your positive thoughts for yourself. It could be something like happy, loved, or worthy. Let's give it a try. Lift up, I am, lower down, loved. Rainbow breathing. This strategy is called rainbow breathing. First, have students standing nice and tall. Hands should be down at their side, palms facing out. Open and close hands to warm them up. For the first time, slowly lift arms up along sides and up overhead. Slowly bring arms down, returning to sides. During the second time, add breathing to match the arm movement. Breathe in as arms come up. Keep arms up and enjoy the rainbow. You can breathe normally as your arms are over your head. Take a breath and exhale as you bring your arms down. Repeat the motions two or three times, breathing in as you go up and exhaling as your arms come down. This strategy is called breathing ball. This strategy can be done in a seated position while standing or lying down. The goal of this strategy is to focus on your breathing and to calm your mind and body. Find a comfortable position. Watch the ball open and close and mimic this movement with your slow, deep breaths. As the ball opens, take a deep breath in through your nose. When the ball closes, release or exhale the breath through your mouth. Remember to be mindful of your feelings throughout this time. Let's try this a few times through. Deep breath in through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Ball opens, breathe in. Ball closes, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. This strategy is called squeezies. This strategy can be done in a seated position or while standing. The goal of this activity is to take some time to check in with your feelings. Find a comfortable seated position or if standing, stand solidly on both feet. Place feet approximately shoulder width apart. Start with using one hand and grab the opposite wrist. In a slow, controlled movement, squeeze your arm moving up to your shoulders and back down to your wrist. While you are squeezing, check in with how you are feeling. Switch hands and sides to complete the same movements. This strategy is called trapezius squeezies. This strategy can be done in a seated position or while standing. The goal of this strategy is to take some time to check in with your feelings. Find a comfortable seated position or, if standing, stand solidly on both feet. Place feet approximately shoulder width apart. Start with using one hand and place it on your trapezius muscle, between your head and shoulder muscles. In a slow, controlled movements, squeeze your trapezius muscles gently to help relieve tension and pressure that you may have there. While you are squeezing, check in with how you're feeling. 
switch hands and sides to complete the same movements. This strategy is called thumb pinky switch. This strategy can be done in a seated position or while standing. Find a comfortable position. Place hands in front of your body. Start by giving a thumbs up with one hand and point your pinky finger on the other. As we start this activity, remember to stay calm and focused by maintaining slow, deep breaths. Let's practice slowly. Switch your thumb into the up position and pinky out on opposite hands. Try it again. This movement may be difficult at first and it's okay to go slowly if you need to. As you focus on this movement, make sure you show yourself some grace if you make a mistake and keep trying. This strategy is called forward bend. Stand with your feet, shoulder width apart, and feet flat on the floor. Start by taking a deep breath in through your nose, and as you exhale slowly, stretch your hands down as far as they can go without pain. You can start by bending forward and touching your knees. As you take another breath and exhale, reach or stretch just a little bit farther without pain. Continue stretching and breathing three to four times. Release the stretch by standing up slowly and taking one calming breath in and out. This strategy is called touchdown stretch. This strategy can be done in a seated position or while standing. The goal of this activity is to focus on breaths. Find a comfortable seated position or, if standing, stand solidly on both feet. Place your feet approximately shoulder width apart. Start with raising both hands above your head and slowly lean to one side. Make sure to keep your breaths nice and slow. Stand back up with your arms raised above your head. Slowly lean to the other side, maintaining your slow breaths. You should feel this stretch on your side. Continue two more times for each side. This strategy is called hand tracing. Before starting, sit with your back supported in a comfortable chair and your feet flat on the floor. Hold out one of your hands. The other hand will do the tracing. The goal of this activity is to focus on our breathing while we are tracing our fingers from one side of our hand to the other. Every time we go up, our thumb, or one of our fingers, we breathe in through our nose. Every time we go down, we breathe out through our mouth. Try to keep a nice, slow pace throughout this activity with big, deep breaths. Let's give it a try. In through your nose, out, through your mouth. This strategy is called seated pigeon. Before starting, sit with your back supported in a comfortable chair and your feet flat on the floor. While sitting up straight in your chair, place one ankle on the opposite knee. As you take a deep breath in, gently press on your knee to stretch your leg muscles. 
only push the knee to a slight stretch, not to discomfort. Slowly release your breath as you release the stretch. Switch legs. As you take a deep breath in, gently press on your knee to stretch your leg muscles. Only push the knee to a slight stretch, not to discomfort. Slowly release your breath as you release the stretch. Continue three times for each leg. This strategy is called 5-4-3-2-1. This strategy can be done in a seated position. The goal of this activity is to focus on your thoughts and your five senses. Take this time to focus on you and to calm your mind and body. Find a comfortable seated position. Remember to keep your breath slow and controlled. I am going to share things that I want you to focus on in your mind. This is a silent activity. Let's take time to think about five things that we can see. Now, focus on four things that you can touch. Next, bring your attention to three things you can hear. Think about two things that you can smell. Lastly, what is one thing that you can taste? By doing this grounding exercise, you are able to put your focus on each of your five senses. This allows you to put your mind at ease while focusing on you. This strategy is called Pretz Alarms. This strategy can be done in a seated position or while standing. The goal of this activity is to focus on calming our breaths and our minds. Stretch both hands out in front of you with your thumbs pointing down. Cross your arms to make the letter X. Clasp your hands together with your fingers. Bring your clasped hands down and then back up towards your chin, turning them inside out. While keeping your hands clasped, place your chin on your hands and take three deep breaths in and out. When finished, Unclasp your hands and continue with your day. This strategy is called Lazy Eights. Before starting, find a comfortable seated position or standing position with support. You can use your hand on your chair or desk. The goal of this activity is to focus on our breathing while we are tracing the lazy or sideways number eight. Hold out one foot and point your toe. Begin to trace the number eight with your toe. Breathe in as you draw one side of the number eight and breathe out as you switch to draw the other side. Throughout the lazy eight activity, Keep a nice, slow pace with big, deep breaths. Let's give it a try. 